here's what I did. I want to walk you guys through taking apart this motor and, and then take it off. It's super easy, and uh, if you can do, you know, the simplest of, of routine maintenance, you can you can do your motor off. It's not that difficult. Start with taking the, the cowl off and finding this little section right here that comes off. Now, all, all motors are all obviously different. And uh, this is all rubber grommets. You've got a nut in there, a nut in there. This piece right here comes off. And that allows you to get access to the controls. Bear with me, it's dark outside. You got one control deck card pin right there. You got a second one right there. So again, right there. So one is going to control the throttle, one's going to control the transmission of the boat. Disconnect those, you wiggle them out, and you're left with. Oof. Sorry, I got, I got a lot more boats than I'm expecting to have, or I'm supposed to have on this GR today. You're left with the ends of, oh, it's working this way actually. I need the long way around. You're left with these guys. So these pins right here help you adjust it. These pins actually control it. There's little holes right there, work nicely. So once you have those guys out, then you think, okay, what's next? What do I need to get take off it next? Let's go with the um, the main harness. There's a huge engine wiring harness. It's right here. It's very easy to take off. We're talking. It's very just. There we go. You unscrew it, and it comes off. That's that's literally the huge harness right there. That's it. At that point, you've got your. Transom controls, this guy here, the plunger, and you've got your battery cables. I've tied mine up with a zip tie nicely, get them out of the way. My harness is already out. It's, it's literally out. So you think, okay, I've got the transmission shift cable, the throttle linkage, the main harness out. What am I missing? Well... You go up to the steering box and you start disconnecting things. And, and always take pictures first because you always, you're always you going to disconnect something. You're going to think, where did that go? Was that supposed to go there? Was that supposed to go here? Oh, crap. I can't remember it. Thankfully, my shifter, which is right here, is different from my main harness. So here's my main harness. Here's the tachometer, kill switch, and key switch. Now, this guy that had the book before me, he had some weird stuff going on. I trimmed the motor up and down. And he had that because the throttle control was a thousand years old. So, essentially, this is down, that's up. I'm not really sure what this guy is for. It's not the kill switch. It might be a light to the to the inside? I'm not really sure. It's irrelevant. And uh, when I was disconnecting the entire thing, I had these two guys I did disconnect. Thankfully, they can only go on one way. This is already connected to itself. I'm not sure this goes for it. It was already disconnected. I'm not going to fuss with it. Same thing with these guys right here. There's red, white, and blue wires. So, your harness goes like there. You got, you got tons and tons of space. Don't ever connect. Don't ever cut your harness. It's, it's a huge... Huge pain in the ass. Don't ever do that. You got the harness. You snake it around like a sneaky snake. You snake it around some more. Okay, there we go. And this plugs into your exhaust. I'm sorry, into your into your engine. That's it. That's all there is to it. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Now, if you're gonna run new new cables and stuff in like a boat, let's say like um. The Willcraft, which is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Or the uh, Proline, another huge pain in the ass because everything is hidden behind different sections and and uh, it's just going to be a mega pain in the ass. So, running things from there to here, yeah, it's going to be tough. But you know what, realistically, 
it's not that difficult. It's not like you're running into a car. We've got carpet and frames and seats and all sorts of trash, you know? It's, if you do it the right way, it'll be simple. <laughs> the open bow plan for the Carolina Skiff and the Bonita is just so simple. I mean, it's it's ridiculous simple. There's nothing to run it through. Like, there's no whole sides or anything like that to, to snake it through and get caught up on it. You just do it and you're done. I mean, it's literally that simple. I mean, I've been doing it for two hours. I've already stopped to go to Kroger, get a drink, went inside, got something to eat, came back out, spilled my beer, came back out again, and, and I'm already done, you know? The only mistake I made was having the motor down when I had the engine, when I had the wiring harness unplugged, everything's ready to go, and the engine was down. So the skeg was super close to the ground. I didn't run it, obviously. I didn't drag it around the ground like that. Um, but I, uh, I was like, well... So I plugged the harness back in, plugged the wires to the battery back in, and went for it. You know, it's, it's really not that difficult. It's not that tough. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. You know, it's a trolling motor. It's old. It's locked up solid. It's just, I don't think it's worth anything. And I don't plan on using it because these guys broke off as well. I'm not worried about it. So tomorrow, I'm going to go to my boat mechanics place and start working on the skiff, tearing that stuff out, you know. I'm not going to need anything when it comes to that skiff and the garbage electronic. What well, the electronic on the skiffs are actually good because uh, my friend Andrew rebuilt a heck of a lot of it. And all that stuff that he touched, everything Andrew touched is great. The motor is bad. The steering is probably locked up again, you know. I've got the opportunity to change it out. Just fucking change it out. It's not that difficult. Just go ahead and do it. You know, it... Just do it. Just do it. Get it knocked out of the way and be done with it. I'll be excited to have an actual tack that I can use again. And I can see how fast I'm going. Um, or how fast the engine's revving. I don't want to airline the motor. Um, and I've, I've started this motor up a couple times today. I ran in water. It sounds so nice. It's so quiet. I mean, my Land Rover Discovery, which you can probably see. And the, there it is over there. Oh, oh, there it is right there. That's louder than this motor is. It's, to be fair, it's a V8 versus a four-cylinder. But man, it is just... It's just great. You know? This, uh... This whole project was really easy. And I was a little bit tempted to not do it, but... I can see not wanting to get done if you're busy or if you're really intimidated. But truthfully, just take it one step at a time and you'll be fine. I did it. And look how great it came out, you know? Um, I even started waxing the, uh, the mercury. The swirl marks. Well, that's garbage. That's just trashy. Um, I did, however, set out the, uh, the guides on this Carolina skiff. I got four of these guys. Two for the bow and two for the stern. Laid them out. They look great. Uh, what I did today was I got some liquid wrench, backed these bolts out, and, um, and uh, put some liquid wrench in there and put them in tightly and then back around again. You know, I'm going to install this crap tomorrow. I've got a drill bit somewhere. Right, it is right there. This is going to go in a, um, in a box. Tools I'm taking with me. Oh, and also the trim tabs. Trim tabs are super, super simple. Apparently, you can adjust them several different ways. It takes a, it's a spring inside these guys. I didn't realize that. But you can see here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, you probably can't see. It's okay. It's a spring. Oh. There's a spring inside here that makes it go up and down. And you can adjust it properly. I'm pretty excited about that. I've got to pick up some 5200 before I leave tomorrow. But, um... But I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I need to get working on this rover. It's driving me crazy. There's a there's a parasitic draw somewhere I can't quite figure out. And, uh... If I leave the battery connected overnight, it drains it to nothing. And, 
I just don't have the energy or the time to, to mess with it. And I can't really put this rod up one here either. So there's that. So there's everybody. I know you're just loving that section. Um, yeah, I polished the corner of the rover to see if it'd come out. Man, that came out so nice. Look at that. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments. And if not, I appreciate you watching. Uh, yeah, I don't want this boat. I don't want the trailer. I just want the engine and the controls for it. And uh, it's a really pretty color, I'll give you that. But heaven's sakes, I just don't want this suck of crap. It's just, it's just garbage. I mean, the floor is so rotten. I stepped right there, right there, right there. And uh, my foot almost went through the floor. It was not not a deal. And uh, yeah, good, good, not great. So I'm gonna put some of these tools away. I got some of these bright green gloves at uh, Harbor Freight. You know, let's put some of these tools away in the box. We're gonna take those tomorrow. We gotta drop the kids off at school. Come back. Pick up the boat, take it to Anthony's, and and uh, start working on this GIF. You know, if I had some sort of a an A-frame type motor hoist, then what I could do is I could just switch the motors here because you know, a 62 stroke is not going to be that heavy. A 50 four stroke is not going to be that heavy. It'd be heavy enough, sure. I'm not going to you know wrestle it off the boat. But it's not gonna be that bad. It's not a huge crate. That's a frog. Hello, little frog. Is even on? Yeah, that's crazy. He is hanging on the boat. Well, we're not gonna mess with him. But uh, but yeah, pretty excited. Oh, it turns out it's not a 2020 Mercury. It's a 2008 Mercury. Found the stamp. So you can zoom in it right there. Yep, 2008. 50 horsepower, but man, it sounds so sweet. I tried getting this guy off right here, this rusty piece off. Yeah, it's not coming off, and I don't want to force it off. I might get, the way the mechanics might have a, um, might stop at a store and have something they can, you know, if they can wrench it off for me, but I'm not going to force this thing off. It's just asking for trouble. Before we're going to take it to higher so we are going to change the oil. We're going to change the lower unit um, oil, and we're going to change the water pump for it. I don't know how long it's been there, Ray. I don't know. I'm not going to risk it. And after the last fiasco of uh, Hatteras, man, I don't want to do that again. That sucked so hard. It sucked so bleeping hard. Uh, no, never again. Nope. Nope. Not interested. So yeah, I appreciate y'all sticking around this much. And um, sorry the, the the camera's shaky again, but I can't find my little holder for the camera. I lost it somewhere at the beach. Tough life, right? <laughs>